Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout 3 where we're still in Little Lamplight and we just found a way inside Vault 87, presumably a faster and or easier way inside than the murder pass. So that's the way we're going to use and all I have to do is hack this average difficulty computer terminal. However, before I go inside the vault, I want to make sure that I have fully explained Lord Little Lamplight and I have spoken to everyone so I guess we will do that first and I also may want to skip a few hours because I think at this time most of the people will be asleep so let's wait until morning and then let's see what else we can find around here and um, I have to remember how I got here because uh, it's a little bit out of our way okay so it's basically behind this little barricade be cautious and through this tunnel okay now um one thing that I wanted to do is have a look at the souvenir shop again and see if I can actually buy anything. Um, also, we have some ammo over here that I can just take with me, which I will. I think they have quite a few dogs in here. Um, we did Watch talk it. to Zip already, but maybe we can trade more Nuka Cola with him now. Hey there, you have any Nuka Cola? Even just a bit? Can I have some? Be your best friend. Honest, totally, not even kidding. <laughs> yep, I think I have more Nuka Cola for you. That's all I got right now. Come back tomorrow, maybe we'll have more. And you can okay. have more Nuka. For me to have more Nuka. Yeah? I mean, it is tomorrow, but maybe you have to wait like 24 hours. And I don't really want to wait that long just for whatever random stuff he's willing to give me. Um... Yeah, I have been here before. Also, they have like a rocket over here. That's kind of neat. How did this get here, I wonder? <laughs> hey. Um. Okay, we have talked to the mayor before. I don't think he has anything new to say. And <laughs> I, I'm starting to get lost again. Spelunkers. This may have been a place I haven't been to before. So let's take a look at it. Excuse me. Yes. Lucy. Um yes, I wanted to talk to you again because I've got buff out to trade for fungus. Excellent. I should be able to synthesize the proteins from this into something that'll fight rickets. Here's your fungus in return. All right, buff out removed, cave fungus added. Um, let me have a look at that fungus. Okay, bye. Do I want to trade more of it? Maybe because I'm not really using the buff out, so you can have all my buff out for all I care. But I want to see what the fungus does. Oh yeah, minus two radiation plus 5 HP. How does this compare to a red away or yeah I mean it is rather weak compared to a red away but still kind of useful I guess but I'm not sure if I really um, need like a lot of it. Door to lamplight caverns. Okay, have I been here before? Um, nope, this is a new place. Hey, you. Oh yeah, and I haven't talked to him, I think. Hey, what's up? Or have I? <laughs> yeah, I have. Um, I really need to get to Vault 87. Where do you get food for this place? Where you're called Eclair. Right, he's like the chef. Um, I can ask for some food though. I apparently didn't do this last time. Bon appetit! Okay, so 
I might be able to sell you some stuff. That's good. Um, let's see. What do I want to get rid of? I think I have a bunch of cigarettes. Yep. You can have all of these. And the poison glands. And sure, take the scrap metal as well. Um, and I mean, that's almost all of his money, so I think we're good. Let me see if you have anything special for sale, but it doesn't look like it. Let me know if you need anything else. About time, man. This mold isn't getting any tastier. <laughs> Alright, um, let's look a bit more. Oh, there's more cave fungus. I can just take it, which I guess I will. And this is just some random what? crap. Knock knock. Um, okay, I think I have not talked to New in town, this huh? kid before. Well, if McCready let you in, that's a good sign. I'm Knock Knock, and I take care of keeping the peace down here. Or at least the morale. Okay. So who are you? You going to cause any trouble? Not at all. Um, the mayor let me in. I'm not here to cause any trouble. Exactly. Always good to hear, but not even any fun trouble? <sighs> even a little? See, I collect a lot of stories, and sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. A bit of fun trouble is always good for morale. More Al's better than less Al, see? <laughs> um, yes, I suppose so. You said you're in charge of morale. What does that mean? Why are you called Knock Knock? Can you give me directions? Yeah, tell me more about that. Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? <laughs> so, bam! Jokes! Want to hear one? Um, uh, yes, sure. Hit me with it. Prepare to be amused. <laughs> knock, knock. Um, who is there? Noah. <laughs> Intelligence. Noah, place where you can get some better jokes. <laughs> Noah, who I refuse to play along. Um, I mean, this is a terrible joke, but um, since... Uh, I only can use it thanks to my perk, or my high intelligence, I guess. I will uh, take it. Hey, that's good. I was <laughs> just gonna say, no, a place where I can get some food. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, my joke is probably better. And I mean, uh, she was amused enough by it. Um, that was hysterical. That was a really funny lie. <laughs> that couldn't have been a joke. Jokes are supposed to be funny. Now, let's be nice. Gee, thanks. I have to admit, most of them it. aren't really funny. At least not ha-ha funny. They're more like a tradition. Most of them were passed down from this book we found down back, called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs <laughs> for Kids. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? Alright, I mean, if you're living in the cave uh, your entire life, then <laughs> maybe hearing some jokes um, even if they're bad jokes, it's necessary. And I guess they're not here their entire lives, just their entire childhood. Um, why don't you come up with new jokes or stories to tell? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I guess it kind of makes sense. Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl. That sort of stuff. <gasps> what? But we don't really get a lot of new stories from outside. The scav teams spend all their time hidden. So they don't get much news, see? I'd sure mm -hmm. like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. Well, I certainly have some stories to tell you. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Not long ago, my father left me, so I went searching for him. <laughs> I left my dull life behind to search for fame and adventure in the wasteland. Long ago, my people were buried away. Now I've arisen to terrorize the waste. <laughs> You'll have to wait three times over for now. I mean, this is all basically the beginning to the same story, just with a different tone to it. Um, I don't know. I feel this one is like a good start to an adventure story. 
<laughs> wow, that sounds like it took some guts. Life down here might get dull, but I gotta admit, at least I don't get shot at. <laughs> well, not as much anyway. Tell me more. What's happened since then? Well, I finally found a dad, but then he died protecting me and his life's work. I've enlisted the aid of the Brotherhood of Steel in my heroic adventures. The wasteland is littered with the victims of my vengeance and amusement. <laughs> okay, so basically we have um, one version of the story where I pretend to be like a villain, which, you know, is not really true. Then we have one version of the story which focuses more on like the heroic adventure part and one that is basically just like a retelling of what happened without any specific tone to it and focuses more on her father. But since I started like the adventure dialogue, I may as well continue with it. They work for you? Wow, they must think you're the most important Mongo <laughs> in the wastes. So what happens next? I tell you more, but I'm still working on how it ends. Oh, um, apparently that's all I can tell. Honestly, I um, experienced much more than that. I could go into much more detail than that, but okay, whatever. I guess I will have to wait um, until uh, the end is written of my story. That makes sense, I suppose. A good story can take a while to put together, you know. Mm -hmm. And endings are specifically hard. <laughs> But yeah, um, let's talk about something else. Why are you called Knock Knock? Because of your jokes? Well, when people started calling Nicky by his new name, I needed one too, see? If you're twins, it just doesn't cut it to be called Nick Knack and Sue. Hmm? Okay, so it's Nick Knack and Knock Knock. Makes sense. And yeah, I don't think I need any more directions. So let's just leave. Alright, bye. So we'll see, maybe at some point I can return here and um, tell her how my story ended. <laughs> we'll see about that, I suppose. Um, anyway, let's keep looking around. Great Chamber, Spelunka's Essentials. Oh, okay, I see. Um, this should be back to the souvenir shop. And... Hopefully, Nick Nick is actually in his shop, so we can maybe buy something. Let's check it out. Um, yep, I think that should Watch be him. It. Anything you'd like to get off your hands? I might have. Um, yep, let's trade. Sure thing, pal. Special deals for us kids. As a matter of fact, I think I probably sold everything that I really wanted to get rid of. Um, I mean, I have far too many weapons <laughs> in my inventory. At some point I need to just leave some behind in my uh, house in Megaton. But honestly, you can have some of the grenades. I don't really use them. Um, I do kind of want to keep the tailored armor if I need to repair my battle armor. And I guess a radiation suit is also useful. I'll keep that. Um, I will have to turn in the blood packs at some point. And I don't really need that much purified water. Don't really use that anyway. So you can have some of that. And yeah, the stealth boys, they also have weight. So at some point I should maybe stash some of them away. Not sure why I have the sugar bombs. Oh, I may have uh, collected them for the ghoul, right? Right, that's one of the items I'm supposed to collect. There's so much different crap that I can collect for different people that I... Uh, lost track of it, like the pre-war books and the teddy bears and maybe the toy cars. I'm not sure if um, I can turn them in. But yeah, the rest I kind of want to keep. So I guess that's really all that I have to give you. I mean, I can sell some of this stuff. 
just for the money and have some flamer fuel all right and do you have anything that i may want i mean i guess getting some of the ammo that i need doesn't hurt oh you have a chinese assault rifle but i have i have enough of those um and the rest isn't really all that interesting i don't need bottle cap mine and i guess i'm going to give you some of these just to get like most of your money there we go come back later all right Never um, know i guess I'll get another big find that's all i need at the moment come on back when you got more stuff to trade all right so do you have anything else of interest around here oh um i do want to take a look at that more diaries um fungus trait but yeah let's listen to the diary of jason grant um i guess this thing is working i'm jason grant i'm 10 years old i'm in miscellaneous class at early dawn elementary a month ago, a big war came and everything was destroyed. Except us. We're still okay in these caves. Kind of. Mrs. Delaney went out this morning to get help. And she never came back. The other adults never came back either. So now it's just us kids. A lot of the others still cry every day. They're really scared. I'm not. There's nothing to be scared of, as long as we don't go outside. <laughs> Nobody else wants to be in charge, so I'm going to try. Most of the kids listen to me already, so it should be easy. Okay, so at some point all the adults were dead because for some reason they all went outside um, one by one <laughs> and never returned. <laughs> I think after like the first two people vanished, this should have been a sign that maybe you shouldn't go out on your own. But okay, whatever. <laughs> it's been almost two months and we're all doing pretty good. Even if we are all alone, there's a door that leads to a vault right here in the caverns. Every day we bang and bang, but they won't let us in. We can hear them in there. One time, a guy on the other side told us we were dead already. Fuck those grown-ups. Fuck them all. We don't need them ever again. Interesting. So, there used to be people in the vault, but they didn't um, open up for the children. Huh. Well, I guess we will see if there's still people inside the vault, but apparently it's just super mutants at this point, or maybe ghouls. I guess we will find out. But okay, um, I guess that was some interesting information. Um, this is just a normal book, and this one is scorched as well. Nothing I can use, and all of that is of limits. Okay, well, I guess um, hey, that's really all I need to do here. Now let's leave again. Okay, so um, I guess I have explored all of the caves now. I mean, this over here is the murder pass, right? But I'm going to give that a pass. I'm going to give the pass a pass and instead I will return. Oh, hang on a second. I think there's actually like direct way to the great chambers over here. Yep. And that's where Watch it. the door to vault 87 is. So we will uh, try to open the door and see what's going on inside. Now, which of these walkways is the one that leads to the vault? Let me have a look at the map. Um, okay, so it's gotta be the one on the Watch other it. side here. Care to talk? Watch I have talked to all of these already, Joseph and Bumble. Oh no, I don't I don't need to go into this 
central room. Um, okay, I have to go vaguely in this direction. Is it this corridor? Yep, I think it is. All right. So, um, first of all, we will have to hack this computer. Um, okay, I mean, we do not have a lot of options here. Portable. <laughs> um, survival has the R in common, but not much else. So, this can't be it. Um, this one has the A in common, but not much else. Okay, now we have the O, the T and the E, so this could be it. There we go. Yep, there we go. Unlock a door. Lock disengaged. Perfect. All right. Um, where are my companions? Okay, are you are you ready to go into this vault? Door to reactor chamber. Let's go. All right. Let's get our gun just in case. Oh, um, that's apparently what I needed to do to finish the quest, and I just leveled up. But I guess I can't. Okay, now I can actually um, use my points. Okay, um, what do I want to do with all of that? I don't know, let's maybe increase medicine, sneak, sure, why not? Maybe even a bit more. And repair, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the last two points. Um. Well, I feel it's kind of pointless to start investing stuff into energy weapons at this point. Maybe just more sneak. Okay, um, did this unlock any more new perks? No, I have seen this already before. So, what do we want to take? I don't really need any of these, I think. Because, I mean, I can just work around, you know, hacking terminals by exiting exiting and starting again. I don't need chems. I mean, I feel this one is a solid perk. Gives a bit more damage. Sure, why not? Mm, I guess it was nothing. <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel there might be enemies inside here. And sooner or later, we will find them. Okay, apparently, <laughs> that's all the light we will get. Um, okay. There may be danger here. There's only one door here, it looks like. And... Ooh, um... Doesn't really tell me where to go. And my quest just tells me to retrieve the Gek. Finding the Garden of Eden, okay. Let's look around. Peter Stevens' personal journals. Okay. Oh, these are quite a few. Data corrupted. But this one will work. A journal entry. I don't know what to do. My Jason, my little boy, he's gone. My wife won't talk anymore. She just sits in this godforsaken sub-level and stares out of the window at the rock wall as if looking across a sunlit meadow or a lazy summertime lake. Jason was my life. He was my joy, my meaning. Now all this work seems pointless. This was a mistake. Better we had all died together outside than inside this permanent tomb. I'm scared. Okay, what happened to your son? 
Well, we may never find out because all the data is corrupted. Okay, here we go. Nothing has meaning to me anymore. Every time I'm in the outer tunnels, I swear I can hear children's laughter. <laughs> yeah, because they're right outside. The vault doctor says it's just my mind compensating for the loss of Jason, but I know I'm not crazy. They gave me new pills, but pills are for crazy people. I refuse to take the pills. I am not crazy. Why bring up kids in a hellhole like this? So apparently the people inside the vault um, were also not happy. <laughs> Which I guess is not surprising, considering that a lot of these vaults weren't really meant to be, you know, places for protecting people, but more like experiments. So who knows what was going on in this vault. Why is this a pointless existence? And corrupted. Okay, here's one more. Can't stand the sounds anymore. Take the pills, they say. Why take them? I am not crazy, I am not crazy. Jason's laughter. No family gone forever, stuck forever. Eternity and I'm insane, I am forever. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have taken these pills. Also, um, the diary we just read is by someone called Jason, but the last name is different. This one is called Peter Stevens and um, the kid was Jason Grant, so I guess it's just a coincidence that they have like the same first name. Anyway, um, let's look around. Why even bother to have windows when there's... Nothing outside. Um, I mean, there's a door here. Okay, we can open the door and then go through here. And now I have different options. The Great Chamber Living Quarters. Um, this is just a dead end as far as I can tell. Okay. Also, what is this mannequin doing here? Nikola, Tesla and you. Well, um, I will take that with me. Okay, so I guess uh, this right here is the only way. And uh, supposedly there is something here, but I'm guessing it's on a different level, which means uh, the map is practically useless. Okay, yeah, we have like another level here. So again, we have different options. Large room over here and a door over here. Where do we want to go first? Oh, um, this is just leading outside. Um, my guess is that this is maybe the other way into the vault, like the murder pass, because clearly this is going away from the vault. So maybe not the path we want to take right now. Let's just continue deeper into the vault. It seems more reasonable. All right, um, let's see what we can find here. Oh, and now I can see enemies. Oh, but it's just a bunch of red roaches. Okay, well, I'm going to kill them if only to get them off my radar. They're just confusing me. See, there's still enemies. Be careful. On my compass, but it's not one of the red roaches. <laughs> so it's good to be able to see them now more clearly. Um, I guess I'll take. Oh yeah, I can. I can hear um, super mutants. <laughs> Got us 
Over here. Yep, there we go. Super mutants. Two of them. Um, I don't know. Let's go for this one first. And now this one. Also, maybe I will take some stronger guns here. I mean, normal super mutants are not that difficult to kill, but... Well, there are different kinds of super mutants. Oh, I didn't. I didn't mean to talk to you. Never mind. I just wanted to loot this super mutant. Um, okay, I don't need any of that. I don't think I need any additional hunting rifles at the moment. Okay, um, let's continue. This is a dead end. So I guess we will move on through here. There we go, door to living quarters. I hope this is where we need to go. I mean, again, I don't really have any specific location where they want me to go. I guess I'll just have to look through the entire vault until I find that again. Anybody there? And yeah, I can, I can hear super mutants shouting around. And apparently Sharon is already Where? picking up the trail. Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. Um, let's just go for the torso, I suppose. Yeah. I'm hurt. <laughs> Nothing here. Yep, I mean, the super mutants are not very um, elaborate in their words. <laughs> but arm hurt uh, gets the job done, I suppose. Okay, um, I mean, currently there's really only one way we can go. Uh, hang on a second, this just changed. Okay, test labs, reactor chamber. There's two doors here, let's see. Hello? Who's there? Noise! Okay, well, <laughs> right around the corner, there's another brute. There we go. And I think there might be another one somewhere. Well, but can't can't see them at the moment. Ooh, oh, an overlord. Okay. Okay. That is um, slightly more difficult than your normal roots. Um, let's use some vets here. Go for the head. Also, I will have to. Uh, use some um, stim picks here as well because that weapon is doing Come a lot of damage. All right, you're good. Um, tri beam laser rifle. Hmm. I mean, I have some space in my inventory, so I suppose I will take it, even if I don't actually want to use it. Huh. Got a projector over here, but doesn't seem to project anything. But whatever happened here, um, clearly the humans haven't been here in a while. This place looks pretty desolate. Um, anyway, let's keep moving. We again have different options here, as far as I can tell. Uh, this may lead to the test labs, but what about all the rooms over here? Got a 
bunch of lockers, but they're all empty. And none of this seems to have any value. Okay, apparently this used to be like the sick bay infirmary of this place. There still might be something useful around here. Let's see. Oop, I don't... I don't need any of that, but I mean I will take the stem pack, I guess. Uh, well, I guess uh, it's better than nothing. All right. Um, everything else is just your usual sort of crap. Um, now I think I came through here, right? So where does this lead? Okay, this is going to a different level. Hmm. So maybe I do want to check out the door over here. Need some help with this one. Okay. Where? Where's the enemy that you seem to be afraid of? I don't I don't see them. I mean, sometimes he just wanders off to... I'm going to find you. <laughs> ...some other place. Okay, here we go. It's another master. That takes care of that. That takes care of that. <laughs> and you totally stole my kill here. Okay. I will gladly take your Chinese assault rifle, um, since I may want to repair mine here. Okay, so maybe um, we will. I don't know. Let's let's check out the other room first before we go upstairs. Yeah, there's a lot of these gore bags hanging on the ceiling here. Also, this room seems to be a dead end, so clearly I should be checking this out first. Got some additional ammo here, which I will gladly take. Um, and the rest is not important. <laughs> Okay, I think now we can move on to the next level. I'm sufficiently satisfied that I checked out everything down here. Now let's be careful. Huh, got some doors here, including one that is very hard. This is just a restroom. Probably nothing too interesting in here. Oh, <laughs> be cautious. This did kind of scare me a little bit. Um, okay, I guess I will give this a try, and hopefully it's not going to cost me too many bobby pins. <laughs> Alright, it's gotta be somewhere in this vicinity. <sighs> Here we go. Ooh. Well, this is not really what I expected. I thought maybe this is just like a small room with some special loot. Instead, it's like a completely different way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Again, um, the map is not going to be of much help here. This is going back down. Oh, well, we have someone over here. 
going to cripple your leg. Leg That's hurt. It. That's it. <laughs> I need you to mess with me. You didn't do anything, Sharon. <laughs> Which is good, to be honest. Um, like I said, I'm always a little bit worried that he will just wander off on his own and uh, get himself killed or something. Right. Where? Oh, there's like Need some help with this one. Another one. Yep, I'm going to help you. There's a lot of super mutants in this place. A lot of them. Okay, but for the time being, we should be good. And the good thing is that these masters often carry Chinese assault rifles. So hopefully there should be no shortage of repair weapons for me. Yep, there's another one. Don't really need to carry all of them, but I would like to use them to create better ones. There we go. Um, okay, we have some interesting stuff down here. Let me have a quick look around first before I take a look at that computer. All of this seems to be pretty normal. And the computer is probably... Oh no, it's not like for the safe. Let's have a look at these uh, service issue entries. Maintenance code IL00 green issue dormitory water dispensers outputting water with a foul aftertaste engineer daniel costa fix notes the water filtration system the reclaimer was adding a bit too much chemical rebalance solution in the process this gave rise to a buildup of alkalines in the water i've checked with the medical section and the water shouldn't pose any health threat the taste should return to normal in approximately four days okay What's the next issue? Reactor spike, sectional power outages, engineer Daniel Costa, fix notes. For the last five weeks, we've had periodic interruptions to the power grid. Entire sections will lose power for appro approximately one to six minutes, then return to normal. By installing monitoring meters, I trace the issue to sudden immense power spikes in the main reactor. My fear was the reactor was having a major malfunction, but turns out that it's due to a power draw that the experimental section is creating. Whatever they are using in there is way over the limit for acceptable power consumption. I've temporarily remedied the situation by having the backup reactor kick on when needed. I don't like to do this, but I have no choice until I figure out what they're up to. The experimental section, huh? Okay. Issue, GEC chamber radiation purging offline. Oh, well, I mean, this is us useful for me. Fix notes, Voltex crappy handiwork is added again. I have spent the better part of a month patching and repatching the radiation purge system that vents excess radiation from the GEC chamber. I have no idea why the system keeps failing. I suspect the system is simply inadequate and can't handle the amount of radiation it's purging. Recommend installing a new purging system as soon as I can get one cobbled together from spare parts. Should have it ready in about a month. Okay, but at least this confirms that there was, or maybe even still is, a gag in here. Issue tapioca pudding miscolor. <laughs> the mess hall food reconstitution system is outputting the Monday night dessert tapioca pudding in an odd bright orange color. This was a simple fix. The color matrix was simply misinterpreting instructions from the main brain and outputting incorrectly. I replaced the interface and the pudding now outputs in its proper hue. Wish all my fixes were this easy. Is this some kind of replicator? It's just creating food for them? Interesting. EEP chamber failure. I was summoned into the overseer's office and met with Dr. Merrick, who heads up the experimentation section. He informed me that one of his devices, what he called an EEP chamber, was 
edit it. It was a strange device, but I managed to edit it, which didn't fix the problem. I then tried to edit it, which seemed to bring the device back online. I'm not sure what this device is for. And apparently someone went over this and censored parts of it. Hmm. But edited. Okay, well, this doesn't help me much. Issue need help. This is the only place I could think of hiding this message. In the event that anyone reads this, please try and get word back to Vault Tech HQ that something very wrong is going on in the experimentation section. Something they keep referring to as the EEP. My wife, Mercia, was diagnosed by the medical section as having some sort of disease they wouldn't identify. She's dead now. And those sons of bitches won't even tell me why. From talking to people, I've discovered that many are dead or missing. Checking this with the medical records section gets me nowhere. This is getting out of hand. It's time to deal with this my way. They took my wife from me. Now I'll take their lives away if I don't get some answers. I've hidden some extra help in my safe. Accessing this message will unlock it. If I don't come back, grab that stuff and save yourself. Well, I'm guessing he never came back, but... Apparently, something is very wrong in this place, <laughs> unsurprisingly. So, I will take well, at least some of your stuff. And I guess we need to get to that experimentation section, which presumably might be the test labs, right? I mean, we came from the reactor chamber, so this is probably where we have to go. However, um, since this episode is getting um, kind of long, we will make a cut here and continue our way through Vault 87 in the next episode. So as always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.